And if you can get across here, wipe that. That's a lot of power coming through that. Okay. All right, so Southern Mantis. Uh, in Chinese, it's uh, Mandarin, it's, uh, what is it? Zhou, Zhou Jia Tai Lan Quan. Okay, so Cantonese is Chao, Chao Ga Tong Long Kyu. All right. So it comes from a guy called Ipsoi in, in uh, Hong Kong. He passed it to, in Brisbane anyway, to Nat Yuan, and Nat Yuan down to Henry Su, who I trained with for a couple of years, a long, long time ago. So one of the things I like from this style is the hammer fist. In Cantonese, it's, it's uh, pronounced gao choy. Okay, Aaron, you would have heard this before, gao choy, yeah? Um, in Mandarin, it's jiao, jiao choy. The characters for, for the Chinese um, terminology is, is not, it doesn't express this kind of movement, okay? Jiao, jiao choy, or gao, gao choy, which means this, you're twirling, okay? So if you're just doing this kind of motion, you don't get the same amount of power as you do as if you make an extra circle here. That's what jiao means, jiao here, okay? Or gao, gao choy, all right? Now, choy, choy zi is, uh, means hammer or can mean mallet. You're turning your arm, this hammer fist here, or mallet fist, you're turning your arm into this. That's what you're using to hit someone with, okay? That's the literal translation. First, it's not just this. You're not doing that. Okay, you've got to create this angle, this uh, circular motion, yeah? This turning, twirling motion, okay? Here. Downwards, yeah? The next motion is you add the, I'll do it rear side so you can see more of a hip motion. So you actually turn the hips as well. So in Chinese it's called zhuan, zhuan jing, which is turning energy, okay? Well, the turning, we find energy, all right? So you turn the hips as well, turn the hips, and you load it up here. It's a little bit higher, so here, yeah? And I catch fist, yeah? Which is called uh, feng yan quan. Okay, you can do that, but uh, for MMA purposes, with the gloves, it's probably easy just to do the normal fist. Turning, hit down, yeah? You do it off the lead as well. Yeah, so Cantonese pronunciation is really bad. Dip guo gong. Mandarin is die. Die gu, gong, which I don't know if you heard this one before. Die gu gong. So what that means is die gu gong literally means die. I think so. Die is a character to describe piling up on one another. Have seen the human pyramid where people pile up on top of each other? So a man who's called die luo han. Yeah, die luo han. You pile up on top of each other. So your ribs do the same. Your rib cage shuts. So all your rib bones pile up on top of each other. They're called dip guo gong. It adds extra power. So this is just the, here. Now I'm going to open up the ribs and ha, shut. Yeah, up, up. So I shut. Okay, that's the de, de, gong, gong. Okay, that's very hard to do. That's only on a high level in the mantis system. Yeah, so you can add hammer fists. Um, shit, shit. As an attacking weapon. But make sure you flow back into whatever it is you're doing, yeah? Here, here, shh. Yeah, so I'm just going to tap here. Okay? Throw the cross, set up the hips. Throw, yeah? Shh. Yeah? I close. Smash down on top of the head, yeah? Yeah? Okay, hammer fist off. Shh. Sorry, man. Yeah, so you hit the, you can hit the back of the head with this one. Which you can't do in MMA. You can't hit the... Back of the neck with all the nerves. So in MMA, you have to do this. Shit! Uppercut. If you if you can allow to do this, hit through it here. Wipe that. That's a lot of power coming through there. But you've got to be able to switch. Back into boxing, yeah? So I jab here. Shit! Transition. Very hard to do. Let's try to hit the pads though on that one. 